and we back. A little while ago, I uploaded a video of me taking the worst player in the league on a roster by himself and making trade after trade after trade after trade until we snagged LeBron James away from the Lakers. And while majority of the comments and the likes were, were very, very positive, I did get a select few people saying, Kenny, that's impressive. But it ain't really nothing because LeBron James is 36. It ain't like you traded for a prime LeBron James. He don't even have max value. And part of that statement is true. LeBron James is 36. It might be slightly easier to trade for him because he is so old. So you know what? I have decided to go and trade for what 2K has deemed the most valuable asset in the entire game. Luka Doncic. From the worst player in the league to Luka Doncic do nothing but trades is happening right now hopefully i mean i don't really know if we'll succeed but, but hopefully so any other world luka dant is a player that you do not trade and that's why he is on the no untouchable list for the dallas mavericks but in today's video we're turning that off to even give ourselves a chance all i need for you for the good luck is for you to leave a like on the video and if you're new subscribe because we have been dropping bangers five days a week i'm gonna say that with confidence now five days a week for a little bit and you don't want to miss out on the bangers. So I decided to use the Chicago Bulls because there's nothing I want more than to see a star player on the Chicago Bulls. So here we go. Um, we have a new worst player in the league for a very, very long time. For a very long time, there was a guy. Let me let me let me show y'all know who exactly I'm talking about. Simmons, Kobe Simons, Kobe Simmons. I don't know. He had been the worst player in the entire league for a long time. Who was Josh Hall? Wait, Josh Hall was not there. I guess I gotta release this guy and pick up Josh Hall because technically Josh Hall is a set. Was that they say 65? 65 overall, and the guy we had was a 66. So make it even worse for myself. Boom, Josh Hall. Welcome to the team. I don't know anything about Josh Hall. He ain't got no picture, so I mean I don't know. He's only 20 years old, so maybe he's got some good value with him. His shot tendency is tw uh, 15. 15. I was looking right here. I almost said 24. 15. What are you good at? What are you good at? I, obviously not much if you're the worst player in the NBA, but I'm giving him a bit of another doubt. You know, he's still a, he's still in the NBA. He has still accomplished things that I would never accomplish. You know what I'm saying? So, um, he's relatively athletic. Yep. <laughs> yep. What does that mean? One star value? No more than one star value, right? Okay. So here's my plane of, uh, my, my train of thought. Tr um, oh, we got Stevie Wheeler around here to fill a roster. So like we... I think this, I swear to y'all, I think this was the first trade we did when we were trying to get LeBron. So I think I might have to, uh, ooh, ooh, wait, Busy's here. No, we gotta, wait, that's giving up a pick. I don't wanna give up a pick. If anything, I wanna save my picks for a little bit later. So, so Sam, welcome to the team. He's up to a 72 overall. That's magnificent. We're gonna be doing maybe 30 trades in today's video, maybe. I don't know the exact number, but it's gonna be a lot of them. I see a trade right here for Freddie Gillespie. And then Freddie goes to the power forward position. Um, Paul, I guess Paul Watts is gonna have to stay there. But we already got a 73 overall in just two trades. Come on, man. This is this is about to be a walk in the park. We have to sell. There's a first round pick, but that first round pick is not that much value within my second round pick, so I'm gonna keep it. Moose! Ooh, do we call him that? In my mind, Moose is always going to be Greg Monroe, but I guess Mike Moose Scala is is he gets the nickname too. We're up to oh wait. 80? We're up to 80 overall already. Somehow I made him a small forward accidentally. 80 overall player already. We are on a tremendous pace without even giving up any first round picks. I might, I might give up my first, my very first first round pick in this trade right here. Um, because right, you see, we, we're kind of going laterally. I guess we can do a trade for like Moses Brett. Oh, well, this could want to, this, they want a second. We could do a lateral trade and potentially get a first round pick in exchange. Because if you, if, this is the trade. A second is cool. I'm going to need picks too. So if I can try to accumulate some picks while also dishing them out a little bit. Like right now, if I put Brooke Lopez in our pick. Because remember, we are the worst team. Look how many star value this pick is. Magn okay. All right. So that tells me we should save this pick. That tells me we should save this pick. Just a little bit more. Ooh. Make Shea a shooting guard. Make Moses Brown a power forward, and we didn't just came up. But I think I think I gotta say the pick. I, I think I gotta say the pick just a little bit longer, because right now Brook is at an 82. I think we could probably get to 84 before we throw in the pick, and then we go 84 to the moon. Here's a trade for Mason Plumley and Dennis Smith Jr. We messed up this whole league because every center is gonna eventually be a power forward because I keep switching people's positions. So there's the 84, Dennis Smith Jr. in this first round pick. Ben Simmons and Toby, but they want two first. I don't know if I can give up two first. 
There's Paul George, Reese and De'Aaron, Kyrie. Again, we live in a world of no untouchables. So like, wow, wow. I think I saved the pick just a little bit longer. I don't think y'all understand the value of that pick. We are quite literally the worst team of all time. We are a lower than a G League. We're lower than a, a, a level A baseball team. We're, we're basically, oh, this trade is enticing. Number 26 is probably what we do. We're, never mind. Let's just get DeMar. De, okay, DeMar DeRozan in that pick might be able to get us a 90 plus. There's Ben and Toby, but this time it's only one pick. Like that second round pick don't mean nothing to me. We are the equivalent of a YMCA league team. And because of that, I'm going to accept the trade for James Wiseman because he was the number two overall pick just last year. And you make him a power four, he's going to be more valuable. Let's let's see now. His value is... Oh, yeah, okay. That was the right trade. That was the right trade for everything we're giving. So now I'm not doing another trade for a first round pick for a minute. We're getting a first round pick and Russell Westbrook. We give up a second. I'm cool with that. But we gave up a pick to get Clay Thompson. And then we got a pick back. Shea and Moses Brown, thank you very much. Make Shea a shooting guard. Make Moses Brown a power forward. And just James Wiseman. I think I'm keeping James Wiseman around. I'm keeping him around for the final trade because him having that much value is going to be so clutch. There's been Simmons. That's not... What? What is that trade? No, 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 no. I think I do Shea Yos Alexander in the trade by himself. Clint Capella, welcome. Giving up Shea sucks, but hey, we got a 90 overall Clint Capella and a first round pick. If I throw this Wizards pick and Clint Capella together, that's a 90 overall player and a first round pick. Come on. There's Paul George again. There's Kyrie, but they want two first round picks, even though they give me one back. They get it kind of stingy. So now what I'm going to have to do, since the trade find is kind of buns right now, it's time to draw up my own trade. It's been a minute, so let's get into it. I think Click Appell is here to stay for at least the foreseeable future. I think Moses Brown is the trade piece we try to flip next. You know what makes this even harder? It's the fact that um, um we got Luka Doncic, right? Luka Doncic is not making any money. Anyway, he's making, you know, lottery pick money, which is $8 million. But when I was trading for LeBron, I was able to throw them a $20 million contract, a $10 million contract, another contract. It's going to be harder to trade for him because it can't just be Luka and I give back four pieces. It's going to have to be Luka plus JJ Redick or, you know, just salary filler. So that makes it, that adds another element to, to a, a video that I didn't really think about until this, this moment. We are accumulating another all-star type talent. We threw in a pick for that. But Toby at a small four, that gives us two 89 overall or 89 or higher players plus James Wiseman. And we have Shake Melton, who I don't know. Yes, yeah, his overall doesn't change no matter what position you give him to. So um, that's a good start. Like hypothetically, if this is this is what I mean by this though. If I go to the Mavericks, right? Talk, talk to the Mavericks. They got a new guy in charge over there too. If I say, hey, here's Wiseman. They say no. I say, hey, here's Toby. Boom. Toby's contract is huge. Huge. So I would need like JJ Redick. And that's still, I still need 16 million. So I would need to do something like this. And then now we got to give up another player. And now we got Click Appella. And I still need to make up 9 million. So like, legitimately, legitimately, this is going to be rough. Like, I, I could give up all of this. This don't even look bad to start off with. Hold on. If I give you my pick, not top three protected, completely unprotected. And then. I give another pick. Thank you for watching. Thank you for watching today's video, I guess. That was... Nah. Nah. We got to go again. It, it's got it's to... That was too... That was too easy. What if I trade it for... Here, here's how you change the title of the video. An all NBA started five based on this year. Five players that made all NBA. We got Luka Doncic. Can we get more players that made all NBA? That's what the video's changed into. All right. Hey, I don't know what the title is anymore, but hey, that's that's the goal. That's the objective of this video from here on out. Because who knew that Luka Doncic is gonna be easy to trade for? How many trades? Hold on. Let me first of all, let's let's look at this track record. 13 total trades was all I needed to get Luka Doncic. Um, but now, but that that was kind of easy, mostly because of these picks, right? The picks aren't worth that much anymore. You see, my picks aren't worth that much anymore. So, um, the rest of this is going to be interesting. I've decided. I have decided. That instead of just trading for Luka, we're trying to go from the worst player in the league 
to a starting lineup of all NBA players. So we got 15 to choose from. We, need, we just need five all NBA players from this year, which should be interesting. So here's this year roster. We already got one on the first team. Um, so like, honestly, I believe I could trade for Rudy Gobert, no problem. I could even trade for Paul George, no problem, because he had already been in the trade finder. So that would be three. Then we got to complete it with like, I need some cheaper players because Rudy Gobert and Paul George has such big contracts. Luckily, we got Luca, who is the cheapest guy on his list. I think I need Julius Randle, who's relatively cheap. Then after that, how do you even make room for another All-NBA player when you got these big old contracts? I don't know. But if anybody's going to figure it out, it will be me. All right, let's go. Let's go try to get Julius Randle next. I think that's the easiest guy um, that we could potentially get next. Honestly, they're going to say no to everything we have right now. They want Luka. Obviously, they're they're bugging. Um, he's only making $18 million, and he's not that high of an overall. So we do like Tim Hardaway Jr., flip him a few times. I feel like we can get enough assets to to trade for uh, for the guy. And now it's kind of like rapid fire. I'm not even really thinking too much about the trades I'm doing. I'm, I'm, going, I'm looking at overalls. I'm thinking about what uh, positions you can change players. And then we're doing it that way. I do the Calari trade. He's a, he's a little bit more expensive, but you, we got a sneaky second round pick in there if you didn't see. Um, so that that's the way I'm thinking about it. Like, low, no joke, we could probably make a trade right now. Calari by himself. I mean, not by himself, but Calari could be another piece. Um, 80, oh, he's 89. I'm tripping. No, I'm really tripping. I'll give you back Charlie Brown. Yeah, they don't really want another young piece in Charlie Brown. They want Dwight Powell. Yeah, sure. You want to give us Mitchell Robinson? Sure. Okay. All right. So that's a that's a steal. We got two NBA players on the roster now. We did give up a pick in that trade, but it's okay because we got Mitchell Robinson, who is a flippable piece with JJ Redick. He's an 85. He's an 85 with JJ Redick. There's Ben Simmons, who didn't make an NBA team, but he was in conversations. Y'all know how that kind of how that season ended for him. But hey, I am not. Li listen to me here first. I am not off the Ben Simmons bandwagon. I know he has been memed. I memed it myself. I made a whole video about the Shanghai Sharks and Ben Simmons was on the roster. I understand. But personally, I am not out on Ben Simmons love. You know what I'm saying? I still do enjoy a good Ben Simmons game. I know it's might not happen very often, but a good Ben Simmons game is fun to watch. So we got another 90 overall player. Hey, um, with the 90 overall player, we can potentially get Paul George. I think. Paul George, 35 mil. Sheesh, that's kind of tough. I'm looking at all, you see me glancing over, that's, oh my god, I wish Trey Young made all NBA because that would be an easy trade because he's, he's young, he's on the rookie contract, like, Jimmy's making 34, Donovan Mitchell didn't make it, Rudy Gobert's only making 26, and I say only making 26, he's the cheap, he's the second cheapest guy other than like Julius Randle that we could potentially get, Paul George, we giving up the higher overall, so part of me want to say like, hey, give us a lottery protected pick, okay, or he just... We'll give you a second. We'll give you two second round picks. That's not my final offer. We'll give you Norvell Pell because I know you like players with fun names to say. That's why you got Yogi Ferrell. That's why you got David Otero. Um, okay, they're not really budging. Okay, no big deal. We'll just we'll just get our asset bank a little bit higher. We'll throw them Tony Bradley, who we gonna make a, a, a 79 overall. That should be enough for Paul George. Or they could be stingy because you know they signed Paul George long term. So they could be stingy about it, but Tony Bradley's a hooper. Oh, you gotta give us back a player. Give us back P Pat. They would it give a, spend an excessive amount at the small four for my liking. I guess you already got Kawhi. So okay, so I'll, I'll change Ben Simmons from a small four to a shooting guard. Is that what you want? Is that is that really what you want for me to, for you to say yes to this trade? We will give you our shooting guard. Ben Simmons, and you give you to give you Tony Bradley, and then you give us back P Pat. They still don't want to do that trade. Hello, here go to here go some seconds. They still don't want to do that trade. I bet if I did tr reverse trade finder, they gonna they gonna put together a trade. It's two K is the stupidest game. They want Julius Randle. They want Ben Simmons and Tony Bradley. What deal? We got a small amount of house assets left. We have Matisse Thybul, who is an asset, but he's young, and then we got Patrick Beverly. Those are the two players that we can only trade. So. Let's start off with putting them together, I guess. I'll trade for Hassan and Buddy Heald. And in a normal world, that's not a trade we normally do. But hey, Hassan at the power forward position, low key is kind of nice. And we just flip those two players right off the back. We make him more valuable. And we can bring back Mitchell Robinson, which will be a W. But the contract is too small. There's Chris Middleton. There's Jalen Brown. Ooh, okay. I think I could probably trade Jalen Brown for Rudy Gobert. 
I think I could. And then we 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 willing to throw that pick in there. They still saying no. Oh my god. Oh my god. Why is Rudy Gobert so hard to trade for? Okay, I'll throw you Hassan Whiteside too. Just just take the trade. What? I threw in every single asset to get Rudy Gobert. All of them. All of them. Right now, I'm starting. I'm basically starting from scratch. I got Azabuki and Mieone as players to trade. And I still have to get one more All-NBA player. And I don't know who that is or how we even get to that point. Oh, my God. We're basically starting off fresh. We got a 74 overall player that we need to flip up and flip up and flip up. There's a pig. I don't know. I don't even know who we go after. I don't even know who we go after. It's got to be a guy. He's not going to be cheap. Nobody else on this list is, like, considered cheap contract-wise. But he's got to be easy to trade for. Chris Paul might be the easiest guy to trade for at all NBA players. Because Kyrie, Jimmy Butler, those are names you're not normally getting, bro. You're not normally getting those dudes. We need to make a $14 million in this hypothetical trade. And we just don't have it. <laughs> I was just through Luka that trade. We just don't have the draft. I mean, we don't have the capital. So what I need to do, here's what I need to do. I need to trade all of these Stevie Wheelers for other players not named Stevie Wheeler. And it seems like that's going to be impossible. Because <laughs> because no matter what trade I throw him in, it's going to be another player named Stevie Wheeler coming back. Oh, that's tough. That's terrible when you really think about it. Um, okay. All right. Okay. So we technically have like close to a full roster with some picks, with some more trades. We are able to get rid of some of those Stevie Wheelers. Um, and we got a lot of those pick backs, believe it or not. Um, so let's see what we could do to potentially... Now, the Chris Paul trade is like... The one that makes the most sense, you see he's got not maxed out value. We could throw you Fred Van Vliet that will still leave us $14 million to make up. Which, not the more I think about it, the like, come on, dog. That's just not going to happen. So you give us back Etoile Moore. We still owe you $12 million worth of cap. We can't make that up. We literally can't make that money up. There's no way. It's literally, it will be impossible. First of all, Frank Kaminsky is actually really nice in this game. Um, <clears throat> it would be impossible. We still got to make up nine. Okay. We have a board at the mission when it comes to Chris Paul. We have to go get another star player like Bradley Beal. Bradley Beal, who's cheaper, but way more valuable. Well, I guess not way more, right? That's not way more valuable. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Ah, we did it. We did it. All NBA starting five, Luka Doncic, Bradley Beal, Paul George, Julius Randle, and Rudy Gobert. And we still, I mean, the bitch ain't, 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 ain't great. It ain't great by any means, but we still got NBA players on the bench. From the worst player in the league to this lineup. Come on, dog. Come on, dog. It just took me 37 minutes of recording time. I don't know how long the video is, but 37 minutes in real life. Um, with no cuts to put together this roster. And I'm happy, bro. I'm happy. The last thing we have to do is, of course, simulate. We got to see how good this roster will be. Hey, my boy Lucas still got it. No matter if he got an all-NBA team around him. Maybe 30, 12, and 7 and a half. Um, he's probably going to be the only player, actually, to hit all-NBA. Yeah. But, hey, we did that, you know? We did that. We won 66 games. I don't really care about if we win a championship. The challenge was to get... All NBA players and that wasn't even the challenge when we started it when we started this video the objective was just to get Luca just to get Luca and we left with an all NBA team well okay start at five not all NBA team an all NBA team that's not even it's literally not possible unless you turn off like contracts and salary cap but if we turned off contract and salary cap that's a piece of cake I honestly do believe we'd be able to make that happen like boom I trade because an 82 overall for who, 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 who are we trading him for? We trade him for Colin Sexton. No, we trade him for, for Jared Allen. He make Jared Allen look powerful. Hey, listen, the, the blueprint is there. I just ain't gonna do it today. As always, if you enjoyed the video, be sure to leave it a like. It helps the channel out a lot. And I'll see y'all tomorrow. Peace.